Usually, Asus tends to take the crown when it comes to ITX motherboards. However, Gigabyte's X570 Aorus Pro I is too good of a value to ignore. It is cheaper than the ROG Strix option and is of better quality than AS ROG's X570 ITX board. The Gigabyte X570 Aorus Pro I is a board that slips under the radar for many folks. This is likely due to the ITX form factor. But you don't see it much in small factor form PC builds either. That's why it deserves to be highlighted, as it really is a well-rounded motherboard. All things considered, the design here is quite sophisticated. This compact motherboard uses a large rear panel cover and huge power delivery heatsinks. The chipset heatsink hides the M2 slot, as both share a combined design. The SATA ports are in a good position, as they sit perpendicularly to the PCB. This is a good design choice, as installing SATA drives in an ITX build can otherwise be a pain. As usual, this ITX board features two DIMM slots, allowing for 64 gigs of dual-channel memory. That memory can be overclocked to 4400 MHz, which is quite good for an ITX option. RGB makes an appearance in the form of a strip along the right edge. The lighting is bright, but not garish, providing an elegant glow. Apart from that, you get a respectable 8-phase VRM design. While not exactly the best for overclocking, it can handle high-end Ryzen processors without any issues. Some parts of the installation are a bit troublesome. For example, the BIOS can be a bit buggy as it resets itself occasionally, which will bother enthusiasts. Apart from that, getting access to the second M2 slot is a bit difficult, as it's hidden underneath the fan section. This board does have a few compromises. However, when it comes to ITX boards, this is the cheapest X570 board you can get your hands on, so for the price, the functionality is a bit hard to ignore, despite the flaws. To sum up, what we like here is the excellent functionality for an ITX board. It supports high-speed memory with ease, the high-performance networking, and the dual M2 slots. On the downside, setting it up is a bit confusing. It is not the best for overclocking and malfunctioning BIOS. Our ratings for VRM design are 8 out of 10, aesthetics 8.5 out of 10, connectivity 8.5 out of 10, value for money 8 out of 10, or an overall rating of 8.25 out of 10. Do you think another budget motherboard is better? Check another video where we review the top 5 X570 budget motherboards.